What's up, guys? NBA Talk with the last video of the night. Um, Portland Trailblazers at Los Angeles Clippers. Uh, it's just hard to look at the Portland Trailblazers because I know they, can, they can't compete. It's just that they don't have the talent to do so other than Damon Litter and McCollum. Um, the Los Angeles Clippers was just overwhelming. To this team is like Blake Griffin had a great night, Deontay Jordan had a great night, JJ Reddick had a great night, Chris Paul had a big time night, and you got something from coming off the bench too. It's just too overwhelming. Um, this is I, I'm so looking forward for the off season, especially for the Portland Trailblazers, um, because they really need talent down there. They really need it. Because they need to get that pressure off of Damian Lillard. Because eventually, imagine he gets hurt. Imagine him or McCollum get hurt. Um, you don't know what's gonna do. Is that like you're gonna really tank? So the game was 115 to 95. Uh, it the Portland Trail Blazers. Kept it a close, but over time, things started to move away from them. Um, the pressure on defense was critical. Um, both ends were critical. Um, McCollum and Damon Lillard uh, having their hands tied up. McCollum trying to guard J.J. Redick, especially down around the pick and roll. Uh, it was just too overwhelming, and uh, it made, it hurt his offensive game a lot. Putting up so much stuff. You have Damian Litter guarding Chris Paul. Um, also dealing with things on offense. Especially when he goes over the pick and roll. Or ISO or anything. It's just that they just trap this dude big time. Just trap this dude. Don't. Because they just know that Damian Litter is the biggest threat. So they just wear him down. Of course, things got physical in the fourth quarter uh, because the pressure really got to them, especially for Cayman. Um, the Portland Trailblazers uh, employed the hack uh, Jordan. Even with that, it did not help. Did not help them at least. And eventually, they just lost. Um, so let's just get into the stats. Aminu um, had 10 points and 12 rebounds and 3 assists in the steal. 9 points from Harkless, also getting 2 block shots. 4 point, You know, I'm not going to even say that. Four, uh, Mason Plumley got just manhandled this night. I just, I don't know what to say. Like, he went from a good potential guy from Brooklyn to come into Portland just being amateur at best. You have McCollum, 3 out of 11, shooting only 9 points. But that's not really his fault because there's so much pressure on him. Really, there's so much he can do. And he couldn't really do anything. You have Damian Lillard with 21 points, 7 out of 17 shooting. Like I said, they were pressuring this dude hard. Um... You have a couple of players off the bench. Um, you have Crab. I hope I'm pr finally pronouncing his name right. Crab. Uh, with six points. You have Henderson being the biggest uh, opponent uh, in the offense. Uh, 16 points. 39% from the field overall. 33% from the three-point line. 28 personal fouls. Uh, 23 assists, which is still pretty good. Uh, uh, 40 rebounds. 12 turnovers, which is not that bad. Okay, um, now we have the LA Clippers. Uh, Blake Griffin had 19 points and 12 rebounds and 6 assists. This guy is showing his stuff. He's starting to get back to form, which is great. Um, DeAndre Jordan had 18 points, 12 rebounds, and 4 block shots. Phenomenal night. Even with his 8 out of 18 shooting from the free throw line, it did not really matter. 
this guy was showing up. Um, 17 points from J.J. Redick, and this was not from the three. He shot one out of three from the three. <laughs> but he was just dominating the pick and roll. Um, Chris Paul leading the night with 28 points and 11 rebounds. Once again, I messed up. 11 assists. Six rebounds. Uh, two steals, too, as well. Just dominating the night, being the floor general that he is. You have Jamal Crawford coming off the bench with 13 points. Uh, you have Austin Rivers giving you 11 points. Uh, the team shot 53% overall from the field, 35% from the three-point line. Uh, 48 rebounds, 23 assists. Uh, seven steals, seven block shots, only nine turnovers. I still believe Portland is going to get a game or two on the Clippers. No way I don't believe they're going to get swept. Um, but, however, they're not winning the long run. For sure. For sure. So, that's it for me. Um, and that's it for... Game 1 uh, for the NBA playoffs. Game 2 starts tomorrow. Uh, we have the Indiana Pacers versus Toronto rematch. Uh, Indiana's up. Uh, Dallas Mavericks versus Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, Oklahoma City Thunder up by 1. And then the Houston Rockets versus Oklahoma um, Golden State Warriors. Golden State up by 1. So that's it. You guys, that's it for the night. Peace.